I guess we'll take the Focus RS today. We're gonna go get some oil for the XR50 build. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel guys. I guess before we get going, we can probably do a cold start real quick. If you guys didn't know, this is my Focus RS I rebuilt. I ended up wrapping it. You guys are just fine. I mean, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. In the last video, I mentioned about having a 1,000 like goal. Guys, you guys smashed that out of the water. That was actually pretty crazy. I recently wanted to come back to YouTube because it's less filtered. You can do a lot more things than you can on TikTok. I'm trying to post every Sunday. Liking this video definitely spreads this to more people and the more views we can get, the crazier stuff we can do. Don't worry guys, I still do film TikToks because that kind of is what pays the bills. If you guys want more raw and behind the scenes footage, you can add me on Snapchat at Caleb Eckenrode. But enough of that we have some errands to run we need to go get some oil for the xr50 so let's get to it a little rip ski in the focus rs let's put this thing into sport mode and see what you got <laughs> i don't really drive this car that often because the best way i could describe it is it's like riding a go-kart it really shakes you up oh <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, 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 we're not speeding. No, we are not, we are not speeding. Mm -mm. When it starts to get cold, the pops are actually so loud, even with the stock exhaust. The Focus RS is only in the United States for 16, 17, and 18 models. I did hear they revised the suspension for the 17 and 18. I hope it does drive a little bit smoother than this one. This one definitely drives quite rough, but I mean, you can't really complain. It is an all round all wheel drive race car. It's pushing about 400 wheel horsepower now. I am on E30 fuel, and I mean, it makes a world of a difference. Ready? Oh. Oh yeah, you, that doesn't get old. These cars do get some hate because they're a four cylinder. It doesn't take much to liven these up. At the end of the day with just a tune, you'd probably smoke a V8 50 Mustang. I just pulled into my local Harley Davidson slash Honda dealership. Let's go get some oil for the XR50. We got some GN4 Honda oil. Let's go get that in the XR. Let me show you what's going on with the XR88. We have a mess here, ignore that. A couple days ago, we got the engine all assembled and it's looking pretty fresh. You already know from 50 cc's to 88 cc's, this thing with this small frame and the weight is going to rip. Out there. Yeah, you got it all together. Yeah, bud, we got the XR88 together. Come check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, bud. I don't know if you can handle that yet. You just yeah. wrecked the electric bike. Yeah, she is in high. Would you turn the torque up on that beast? Yeah, she's on. Bud, put, put that away. What's that thing ripping so hard today? Well, I watched this video last night where some dude had modes on the same thing. I figured we'd try it out. I got it on it like this. No way. Like Wait, that. you didn't know that thing had modes? No. Dude, you've owned that thing for like two months now. Hold it back. Turn it on. Well, you have a whole startup procedure. What? Full yep. throttle and then click it. We got to blow our beat five times. Put her in low, medium, and high. The last two months you've been ripping around in low. Yeah, in that. So oh. now I'm ripping around in that. Now I can. Okay. Does it actually. Dude! Okay, I'm actually kind of impressed. Hit the brakes! Bro, I didn't know that thing had that much power from that, what, little drill battery? Yep, it rips. What, who, 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 who? Oh. Oh. That's nothing compared to what you're about to hop on. I'm not gonna lie, after seeing that, I'm a little scared. You have no clue how much power we just uh, gained. We got the 88cc big board kit on. What you think of it? It was like a beast. Yeah, we got it all shiny. We did have one issue though. Um, you see how that's shiny, that's shiny and then that's a little gunky yes the new race head did not come with everything we had to take some parts off the old head like the valve caps and the side cap so that's why some of the engine is shiny and the yeah. other part is still a little gunky but anyways we do got to clean this up i can't wait to hit this with the pressure wash well easy easy there bud let's not ruin all that hard work you know i took some hate for this project right because yeah, you milk it yeah, buddy, we have not been milking it. You already know. It was delayed. We had to wait on parts and whatnot. Anyways, I do have a small decision for you to make. So we have two options here. I'm going to explain these and choose wisely. Okay, what is it? You know how we installed the TV Parts 88cc Big Bore Kit? Yeah. Do you want me to put the plastic on? You can take the XR88 on its first test ride, or do you want me to go the whole nine yards and add the upgraded carburetor in the CDI box and get everything jetted, and then you can take it for a ride? I'm milking so much content, kind of want to ride it now. I do kind of agree with you. This thing's been out of commission for like, what, a week and a half now? Yeah. Well, that wasn't all my fault. You know that too. I did have to wait on that clutch part. Okay, that's no excuse. But it was your bike. You should have known you needed a special tool to remove the clutch. Well, I never did that. I do agree, and how old are you? 
Seven. Oh my, you are in for a ride of your life when we put all these performance parts paired with the 88cc big bore kit. From past experience, when we did add the big bore kit to the TTR 110, believe it or not, I actually had a bigger performance gain when we added the 26 millimeter carburetor to the 130cc big bore kit than we did from just the 130cc big bore kit to the stock bike. Does that make sense? Uh, that makes no sense at all. To dumb stuff down for you, buddy, I added the carburetor and the big bore kit at different times. Do you remember? Uh, yeah. Buddy, wake up. I think we're gonna do the same thing to the XR88 because I wanna show you that just increasing the engine size does not actually give you that much more power. You gotta add more air and more fuel and then you'll get the real power. I still do see one slight problem. Where is all that extra fuel and air gonna go? We still have that restrictive stock exhaust on the bike. Let's get that YZ exhaust pipe on here. So what do you want me to do? Add the carburetor maybe what, next week after you take it for a test ride? Yeah. Okay, first thing first, more importantly, do you think you can start the bike? Uh, maybe. Now keep in mind the XR88 definitely has way more compression now, so it's not going to be as easy to start as that XR50 you had. Well, you're already ready to go for a rip. Yeah. Not so fast, bud. We got to put this plastic on. I think it goes the other way, unless you plan on riding it backwards. I'm going to wreck anyways. Yeah, probably with that big board kit. the first time I ever saw a bike mount underneath the table. What the heck happened? I tried unstrapping it. You wrecked it before you even got it off the table. <laughs> well, that's a quick way to get it off. The thing was mounted on the bottom side of the table, dude. That's the first time I saw that. It leak a little bit of gas, but hey. Who cares? It's Caleb's expense of gas. We didn't, like, we didn't like have to load it all on, off the table. Never saw that before. Leave it to you, bud. You said you were gonna wreck it. I didn't think you were gonna wreck it like that quick like you didn't even get it off the table when you wrecked it well, yeah that's like how we get it off the table around here i think you need to go to the gym if you can't put what, what that thing off but that is an interesting way to unload the bike but now that we got it on the ground kind of safely this might uh take us right oh you need to slide that up yeah wonder why yeah it's not no. like it was mounted under a table or anything i probably should have warned you that taking straps off was probably going to make the bike fall over someone's brain is broken here we go guys the bike is now on the ground and somehow you ended up crashing it before you even got it off the table uh yeah but at the end of the day you're not riding if you're not wrecking but let's jump into it can you get the thing started on your own Ever since we added the 88cc big board kit it feels like it has a whole lot more compression struggling there oh give her another kick there you go, no issue there. Now how about shifting it? That was one of my concerns because we upgraded the clutch on it and now I think it's a little bit harder to shift. Oh, you got it, you got it. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh. I know, why is it backfire? It's smoking a little bit. Oh, you're good. I don't see any issues, so give her a little gas. I don't know why it was smoking. Gently. Let's remake that power test. I said in the last video, we're gonna reference back to the clips of him on the stock XR taking this jump. Obstacle setup. We're gonna review this footage later on and we're gonna show a little power comparison from the 50cc to an 88cc. I'll turn around and line up right about here. I want you to put it in first gear and just kind of roll on the throttle and head up over top that mound. I want you to see how fast you can get up this hill in first gear. Go ahead. Here's what I want you to do now. I want you to be in first gear and then right about where it starts to flatten off right here. I want you to grab second gear. Let's see if it has enough power to make that hill in second gear. Go ahead, give it a shot. Oh, barely. Are right, you in first gear? Yep. Now give her, give her the beans. 
There's second gear for you. Give her the beans. Okay, here's second gear. Let's see what you got. Okay, easy, but easy, but it's not completely broken in yet. First gear to right here, then shift the second right there. Let's see it. <laughs> and he still had enough power to lug up the hill. Definitely a lot more low end power. You pretty much stopped there in second gear and still made the hill. So what, a lot more power? Yeah, hard to shift though. A little bit harder to shift. That is the downfall because of the heavy duty clutch. But that's neutral. <laughs> Definitely needs that new suspension. He was bouncing around there quite a bit, but as far as power, that thing's definitely got a lot more power, I can just tell. <laughs> Let's do a first gear power test. What the? This thing's wrapped up. It's got some jaggers over here. Oh, you put it in second gear, start right there and fly up that hill. All right, three, two, one. Go. Not bad. There, it's second gear at the countdown. Give her the beans. Three, two, one. Jump and start already. Go for it. I guess it's my turn to take this thing for a rip. I mean, I did do all the work. You guys saw in the last video, I could not make the hill in second gear. In first gear, it was like lugging. Let's see if we can make it in second. Oh, I need to chill, man. So much low end torque. Let's uh, see how fast we can rip it. Fresh new TV parts 88cc big board kit. We should be able to do some ripping now. Let's see if we can make it in second. Boy, this thing actually kind of rips. It's crazy because that's not all the power mods that we have. We still have the upgraded 20 millimeter carburetor to install and the CDI box. So after that, this thing is going to be a completely different animal. I mean, it already is a pretty big difference. The bike starts up after that thumbnail, bud. That was clickbait. What, you think everything on the internet's real? Yeah. See if she starts. Can't be any worse than that thing dangling upside down on the table. Hey, hey, you're stuck on a roof, bud. While you're out here ripping, I might as well get my 110 out. It is a nice day. There hasn't been so many of them lately, so I better take advantage of the sun. There you are, been a minute. Let's get this thing warmed up and get this out. Let's see if she starts up. Yes, sir, it's a Yamaha. She always starts. We got the TTR 130 pretty much warmed up. Yeah, you said you were gonna ride it like two hours ago. But I got some work to do. This ain't just sunshine and rainbows. I got some goals to change. Didn't hit that 100K subscribers last week for nothing. With the help of you and all the viewers that love our content. Once again, shout out to everyone that actually watches the content. You guys are amazing and allow us to do cool projects like this. I mean, heck, we got two big bore pit bikes here. We got the TTR 130 and we have the and they both shred. So let's get these on the track and we'll see you in a minute. Every time I get on this, it feels different because I transitioned from this bike. I transitioned to the 450. I got a mountain bike. Ladies first. Oh, he's throwing some dirt now. If you guys don't know yet, you can win this fully modified pit bike. Every dollar spent is 45 times the entries on KaleBackandRoad.com. There's only a few weeks left. But yeah, let's get ripping. I'm 
80 some pounds and this thing holds me no issues at all. Oh. Coming in hot. That's the first time I could say I actually ate some XR88 Roost. I guess we'll do what everyone asks me if I can do. Can we ride a wheelie? Of course we can. Uh, oh, you want to go, bud? You want to race? What is this dirt? Holy, ow, hit my toe off the ground. What the heck? Oh. Hi. Let's see a wheelie. I'll show you. Oh, that berm's real nice. Is enough ripping he's getting a little bit better on that bike just wait until we put the carb on that thing's gonna rip a whole lot faster we'll let you ride it like that for a couple days and get used to it and then we'll put that carb on oh that thing is so much better once again if you're interested in winning a fully modified pit bike caleb.com every dollar spent is 45 times the entries anyways that is a wrap to today's video kane's out enjoying the new xr88 if you guys remember in the last video we set a 1000 like goal and you guys smashed that out of the water in the first 24 hours for this video let's see if we can hit that 1500 like goal as you guys know the likes help us with the youtube algorithm by the way we make a lot of dirt bike content let me know in the comment section what dirt bike you guys ride but as of right now that is a wrap to today's video catch you in the next video peace